Very exciting news. We finally got in our hands on the schedule for Citizen Con. Really exciting new things to talk about. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, super exciting. Let's just get straight into it. We just got our hands on the latest, the new updated schedule for Star Citizen, uh, for Citizen Con, not Star Citizen, Citizen Con itself. Okay, so and uh interesting interesting uh pieces here that i want to go over so um in day one right they are the very first um uh, program will be at 11 um at that time zone i'm not exactly sure the exact time zone um but it says brave new world so now it says here introducing genesis the innovative suite of technologies and processes within star engine that breeds new life into truly immersive worlds achieving the fidelity and scale required to fill an entire universe so introducing genesis i think this is probably going to be related to planet um somehow related to um, planet tech v uh five i think we're going to see a little bit of that um and we're going to see new worlds we're going to see new star systems i believe definitely going to see new star citizen it's not even plural but it's not it's not even singular but it's a uh, plural here when they say new world so we may see a new star system and seeing all the planets on it or multiple star systems we're probably going to see um here so that's really exciting stuff so the next one will be social universe it says here and it says here it's the people you meet and the bonds you form that truly brings the verse to life. Dive into how we're evolving social features to maximize your adventures from personal one-on-one -on -one interactions to massive gatherings with hundreds and even thousands of players. So what does this mean? Server meshing right and it means they're going to do a showcase of server meshing and what it's going to be capable of at this point will this be the point where they will say starts in alpha 4.0 is probably in tech preview or something we might uh maybe it may hit evo kadi and um and this is very possible because i did see um we we're already testing the uh, server meshing and hitting a thousand players on servers and i've seen some um some live streams of, of players streaming it and, and seeing like hundreds of players on screen. It was just insane to be able to see that. So I'm really excited to see what we're going to see under social, a social universe. Okay. So next here, it says 2954 cosplay competition. We already know about that. Um, next will be dress to kill. It says from high fashion to dynamic function, discover star wear interesting and exciting new character focused specialization that lets you define your identity and take on the challenges ahead including the return of a legendary friend from citizen con pass interesting interesting hmm so starware so it seems like what this is probably what we're probably going to see from this it most likely will be um regular clothes that are going to be modular as well as um capable of carrying weapons and things like that this way um we're not always wearing flight suits everywhere we're not always wearing space suits everywhere and armor everywhere right you can walk around as a normal person but you can see that the person is armed and uh you can still um be able to blend in as a, a local at any given planet or social area so that's going to be interesting all right so next is going to be beyond pyro so it says here the fantastic reaches beyond stanton and pyro join us as we explore the exciting new frontiers plural star citizens persistent universe interesting so um yes as i said Pyro is no longer going to be uh, the tease for CitizenCon because it's already expected 
uh, for them to drop this year. So it's not going to be uh, the primary system that they're going to be showing. Possibility Knicks. I'm I'm suspecting Terra, um, but uh, it's very possible that we may see Knicks, and we may see other star systems at this point because what's um been holding back a lot of these star systems is the tech of server meshing and now server meshing is literally at the door with 4.0 probably being the very next evo Cardi uh build to test so um it's possible that once 4.0 drops with hyro the very next major patches are probably going to be multiples of star systems being added because i believe a lot of these systems have already been done a long time ago so really exciting stuff so now the interesting piece will be the end of the day on saturday which is redacted so what would this be could it be squadron 42 related it could be um it could also be other surprises uh maybe ships new ships um concept ships straight to flyable ships maybe um but this seems like uh something really interesting i'm curious about what that's going to be about so next on the sunday will be uh crafting your home it says here it says explore the fundamentals of crafting and base building including how they combine to enable new opportunities for players and ultimately create the future of life amongst the stars really excited stuff see as you already teased that we're going to be seeing base building this uh citizen con so i'm really excited for this one specifically because this is going to allow us to be able to just log in and just work towards building our bases and and getting it to work the way we need to you know crafting going out and finding materials to craft and 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 you know uh refine and, and things like that it's going to be really really good for such a high fidelity game like star citizen um that really allows you to uh, kind of live in the persistent universe so i'm really excited for that one the next one will be uh captain of industry says uncover the ships and ground vehicles that will serve as your primary tools for base building in the verse revisiting a classic and more interesting so they're going to be introducing we're going to probably hear about the um the pioneer pioneer might be ready i don't know um we're gonna hear probably about uh um the rsi galaxy and um remember they teased that vehicle uh, Argo CSV somebody mentioned in, in one of the comments that it might be a construction something vehicle and so this it might this might be one of the vehicles base it might be a base building vehicle um, that we seen last year and it might be an Argo vehicle so you might see a little bit of that as well really exciting stuff base building we literally have uh, two segments that's related to uh base building and i'm really excited for that it's, uh, that's that's gonna be big that's gonna be big really excited and the fact that it says industry means player owned refineries player owned mining sites you know stuff like that is is gonna be super exciting all right next here it says the stars my destination star citizen 1.0 big it says your pvp pve and non-combat what type of game is Star Citizen? If you want answers, join us as we outline a high level overview of Star Citizen 1.0 and what our intention are for our epic shared universe. Finally, we're going to see more information on Star Citizen 1.0. After 4.0, I believe 1.0 is going to be right after that. We might see some other incremental patches of 4.0, but I think 1.0 will probably be their ultimate goal for 2025 um which is super exciting so i'm really curious to see what they have in plan for the future for star citizen how it's going to look as it approaches beta which is really exciting stuff once again you guys let me know your thoughts on everything that we just covered in this video in the comments down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and better players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one